this video, I will talk about Virtual Fire 4 in regards with move swapping. Again, we will break down this video in several parts. The introduction, then we move to the uh, move swap example, then searching for a move that you want to swap with, and then some miscellaneous information in regards with move swapping. So we will start in the introduction. First, we will gather the resources to make this possible. First, um, the Emule Emulator, which is displayed here. I already have it set up. Then you will have the um, respective uh, Naomi files in order to run Virtual Fighter 4 for Naomi 2. I will not provide that one. You will have to search it for yourself. Um, the Virtual Fighter 4 versions that are that can be used for move swapping is a uh, Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution version A, Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution version C, which is the latest one, and Virtual Fighter 4 Final Tune, also the latest version for that one. And then we move on with the cheat engine, in which we have it here. Then, uh, the cheat sheets that will be provided on the uh, description in this video. So check that out. Um, to which the cheat sheet that you will be using is uh, in, accord in respect with uh, the version of the game that you will you will be using so if you are using virtual fire for evolution version a you should use the uh, cheat engine sheet for virtual fighter 4 version a or otherwise it won't work as intended and then the next one will be sublime text so sublime text is a um, will be used for the files that I will be providing which is the database reference for uh, the respective versions of the game so what that means is that um, we have the whole database of the whole uh, animations within the game so if you see here we'll try to open up with um, first with uh, this one so we have loaded that up, one up, then we will try to open uh, Virtual Fire 4 EVO. Minimize that one, and then we have it here. I will explain this in a bit after opening up the demo. All of the uh, needed files will be provided in the description, video description uh, aside from the ROM files that you will be searching for yourself. So it's really easy. Just so we will be in this session, we will be using a Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution version C, which is the latest one. Again, if we if we, uh, we will open the mail then I suggest um, trying to config the uh, configurations for uh, player 1, player 2, as well as the save state and the load state. Then try to run it first before proceeding. Then if it's okay, um, close the demo, then reopen again. So it's loading up. Um, what I uh, what I suggest is that um, when you reach the um, the title screen, try to save state there. I, I highly suggest that you save state on the title screen, so as you can uh, bypass the network checking. So like so. I use load state, and then um, I'm already at this. I'm already at the screen without the network checking that um, we just saw. Also, um, save state and load states are useful 
if you're trying to move swap and then um, sometimes uh, you will get some crashes here and there and sometimes load states will uh, quickly bring you back to the uh, game instead of uh, going all over trying to load the emulator all over again so once you are ready uh, choose both of your characters in which I will be using Sarah then Brad try to open up the uh, process now keep it and then you have it here it's all um, loaded up try to check this health the health of both character players then time so we have opened um, the database listing here and I will talk about it in just a while so in move swapping in virtual fighter 4 I have to explain it to you that um, you can only use uh, you can only move swap between the characters which is present in the screen which is Sarah and Brad and then there's also the general move list the general move list is a list of uh, moves that are generally used by every character and it th those kinds of moves can be used at any time even without the move who uses that is not on the screen let's say um, some really old kick by Jackie which is uh, listed on the general module that can be used at any time so I'm going to explain what general mo what the general move list module is and what is the character module move list is in the database provided here you might be wondering why I chose this sublime text over notepad it's because it has this one this move list uh, this uh, this line this line here is essential to know which uh, move list they belong so right now um, if you try to see this one the active animation for Sarah is 3899 1p animation is 3899 so we just try to browse for 3899 and here we have uh, 3,899. Uh, 3, so, in my understanding, in researching this uh, database, it's it's me. It's Sarah, stands, then test. They didn't change the name of the animation. They left it as is. Kamae is a um, stands for. Japanese I think so going back um, I was talking about general move list module so the general move list module here is uh, starting from one and I indicated it here and it ends here so once you have this one this marking here this is the start for uh, the unique move list unique character move list for Akira and then the list goes on you just um, scroll down and then you will see Aoi then you will see uh, Jackie and so on so if you want to uh, change the move list to let's say the general move list here with a character move then you can use that but if you try to use uh, a move outside from the character outside of the screen and this will happen I think this will happen so it's quite buggy sometimes it will crash sometimes uh, you will be deformed it really depends but uh, the worst case is probably crashing the game and then going all over again so that's an example of um, move swapping there I just um, I use 4089 
and then if I try to change it to 4088 kick becomes the uh, replaced move I move swap with high jump if I try to uh, change it to uh, another move so that's an uh, another example so for the second part a uh, third part uh, sorry the third part is searching for the uh, move that you want to replace with let's say I want to replace this is 2k which is down k and if you can see here the active animation being triggered while executing is 4099 so you will have to search for 4099 have it at 4, uh, four bytes then scan it then you have to search around the area which is which is 2d 1 4 around those lines and then we have it here suspect uh, the suspect line of code if it's not try to find another line of code the harder ones I think is the uh, smaller numbers which is a uh, one, one, 1 to 1000 which is the general uh, move list that's the hard part to search for but we're easier move which is 4099 so we're going to double click this one down K Sara 2K okay so we have 4099 here so if we try to change it to 4089 There we go. So for some, uh, no, for the uh, miscellaneous notes for Virtual Fighter 4, um, although move swapping is fun from the start, but it will become harder um, as you control most animations relating to um, most animations, as in all the animations for the characters for example um, stance attack crouching stance stand to crouch transition uh, jumping hurt animations etc so all in all you control dozens of animations and some really complicated ones especially relating to um, open stance and close stance back open stance and close stance crouching stances back crouching stances and not to mention um, we are introduced in virtual fire for the uh, character uh, unique character stances which is um that will suggest that uh, Vanessa is heavily related to that statement so if you're only starting I suggest that you only meddle with the uh, surface level ones which is the one that I uh, demonstrated which is a uh, 4089 also take note um, that some jump animations and crouch animations only work while they are in the jumping uh, state or the crouching state so I will try to demonstrate if it works or not so here we have uh, Sara underscore K which is um, the underscore indicating that I hold 2 which is down so I will try to change it to 487 something like that but sometimes it will be a little bit wonky on the on at some times in relation with a um, brand so this is a brand move that I uh, try to place 2k with 
JDK is ah sorry JD sorry <laughs> that's was a mistake. Uh, JDK is a uh, what's this a uh, judo. So uh, Brad is a uh, muay which is a muay thai. So that was a mistake again. So what I demonstrated here is um a, an error. So slightly you see that uh, I become deformed. That's um because um the move for that one is not loaded during the session, match session. So if I try the 6206, which is this one. Another is 6156. I don't know what uh, Brad move is this one, but um, this is definitely a Brad move. So, unlike uh, Virtual Fighter 3, um, Virtual Fighter 4 has a database that I compiled with. Um, just for uh, fun. Um, I hope this video helps and please look forward to my um, Virtual Fire 5 Final Showdown Move Swapping tutorial next time. So, um, see ya!